Yo, how you doing? February 29th. 20, sorry. Um, February 28th. But it's 12.23. It's basically the next day. This year's a leap year. I did not know up until today. And I did not remember up until right now. Since this is the extra day we have in the year. Quite interesting. 2024. Very cool. So let's first get into some news, general news of how everything is. Um, all right. So this year, this year's been a wild ride. I just want to talk a little bit more about what it's like to, more of going back to work and also having the energy to do stuff afterwards and talking to friends. When I got back to work, obviously I haven't been working for like a month, two months. So when I got back, a nine to five job that is. So when I got back, um, at first I felt a lot of energy. Now it's starting, the energy started to come down and down and down. And, uh, um, I started a new business adventure that allowed me to understand more of how business operates and what we're looking for in, in a team, what a real team is, is how a real team is built and what, what crucial aspects of a team need to be in place in order for a team or a business to be successful. With that in mind, I started to apply that to my current job with being a little more proactive of certain things. And uh, yeah, I realized that was a fucking mistake. I mean, I knew it was a mistake, but I realized that is a mistake. Depending on the environment that you're in, being proactive can also be a negative because sometimes you'll be stepping on someone else's toes and um, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. Even if it, it means, you know, helping, helping other people or, you know, pushing the team to a better, better diet, better direction. Um, no, obviously there's better ways to go about it. Um, talk to, um, not even that, I would say talk to your manager, but I mean, my manager, I, I know like if I talk to my, I talked to my manager about something, being proactive, trying to help out, help out someone that was really behind work. That in turn made uh, made the rest of us behind work. It was like, hey, this guy needs help. Hey, this guy needs help. Um, I talked to him, this and that, and he needs help. Right now, I'm I'm like I'm not new because I already know, I already been there in the job before. Um, but I'm not, I don't have, um, designated roles as of yet. I'm just cleaning everything up. So I told him, Hey, I could help you. Uh, hey, let me ask my boss if I can help you. Da, 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 because you are, you're way behind and we definitely need that. So I told, I told my manager forwarded the email. Hey, this guy needs help. Da, 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 da. And she's like, Hey, um, that's not your job. Da, 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 da. But, uh, yeah, but thanks for, you know, for um, trying to take initiative and being proactive, and um, but yeah, let me know next time directly. And like, you shouldn't be asking people. I'm like, okay, how would I know what what um, what their workload is if I don't ask them? You know, um, well, I try. That's the thing, but that won't stop me from being proactive in my other business adventures and really trying to trying to push and create better teams and better work environments yep i gotta remember to start looking at the fucking camera i'm so sorry i always look at myself my vain self I'm so vanity the vanity okay look at look at the camera okay that i also have this tendency to do that when i'm talking to people notice that's come to my attention oh sorry i moved it's come to my attention that I do not tend to look people in the eye. I do look people in the eye, but then I'm more of a, an imagination type of person. I really like to have profound conversations. And when I do have profound conversations, 
I don't look at you all the time. Obviously, normally you don't look at someone all the time, right? <laughs> but let's say I'm here talking to you, and then I start trying to show them the vision that I'm having, the imagination, the concept, the conversation, whatever it is. And then when I do that, I start, you know, looking to, you know, start to envision it in my head first. I look to a side, and then I start to envision it, and I start to describe it to you that way. If I look at you, it just goes away from me. And we know the funny thing is, depending on who I'm talking to, I'm not, I'm able or not able to describe my vision. And depending what I'm talking about, either I'm able or not able to describe my vision. And that's an incredible thing that I realized that why, why is it that it could be even the same topic, but if it's a different person, my brain just starts like shutting off. Like I'm not able to articulate properly my like the desired thoughts and ideas that i want to share with you it's it's frustrating sometimes but i kind of am starting to get used to it it's like hey it's just me i know i can articulate well i know what i am but um yeah that's, that's just what it is that's just what it is so that's work work um situation this year um just so you know um, I have been robbed. <laughs> I would call it robbed, but to be honest, it was just me foolishly lending money to someone that shouldn't. I shouldn't have lent. But to be honest, I don't regret it. That person did need the money, but they're not going to pay me back. And that is something that I counted on, and they had, I had their word on it. So I, in a sense, I feel a little bit fraud and a little bit disappointed very actually not a little bit very disappointed because that money i was supposed to use for rent for food and for everything while i started up my business adventure uh, that's why i told them that i really needed it and that i was lending this with the complete faith there was a family member not just any person it was some somebody that uh, i did hold very dear to me in my heart um Maybe later on I'll talk more about it, but yeah, that, that's what happened. So that's why I'm in the situation right now, uh, economic-wise. I always think it's very important to have emergency savings, and those were my emergency savings that I lent, and that is my mistake, not not theirs. Okay, so that's that. Um, regarding a prior video that I made, a prior video that I made on friendships, on you know friend dynamics. I was able to talk to those friends, tell them a little bit more about the, the miscommunications, the lack of communication, the lack of, um, of vulnerability and, and being open of what the hell is going on. Um, so we were, we are this friend group of four people. I can't, I, um, prefer not to hang around one of, one of said friends and, uh, we have like a little bit of history. And said friend is very close friend to another, to let's say friend A. Now, I was able to talk to them, to friend A and B, separate from said friend. And I was able to hang out with them personally for the first time, just, just the three of us. And we will be able to talk everything out more and how we felt because they weren't really reaching out to me to hang out. And I wasn't really reaching out to them because I, cause I was... You know, I was brought to the group by the other friends, so I kind of felt like I was the, the, the odd link, the weak link, and I didn't want to tell them, I, I, hey, I don't want to hang out with the person that brought me in the group. So it's like, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to burn the bridge that I thought was the only way to, to get to the other side and get their friendship. I didn't want to burn the bridge. But then I was honest, like, hey, I want to burn the bridge. I want to be on that side. I want to be friends with you. Doesn't mean I, I. It doesn't mean you have to choose between me or the, the other person, but but yeah, I would just would prefer to hang out and to have a better relationship with you guys. And I'm glad that they felt the same way. That we're feeling the same way, and I'm glad that we were able to connect and hopefully stay connect. They're an amazing people, amazing people. They're a couple. So yeah, I am a third wheel, and that's a whole another topic that that kind of kind of don't like being a third wheel sometimes, but. 
but I do enjoy their company a lot and it's better than the no company. And yeah, yeah, I do, I do enjoy hanging out with them a lot. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. So that's the three things I have to say. A 10 minute video. That's it. All right. Stay tuned. Sorry for the late video. Um, and I'm sorry I can't make this more entertaining than it, than it is. Uh, I will apologize. I have a lot of creative ideas that I really want to implement. And I'm so happy I'm able to start talking better to a camera right now since my first video. Like, it's been like less than a week. It's been. How many videos has it been? So, February 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. It's been like eight videos now. Wow. And I'm able to articulate better. And I think that's that's also cross to the to my other activities, talking to other people in my work and my other job. And I'm happy. I'm happy that I hope this this improves. And I'm starting to see ways I can improve in my job with articulating and um, and just doing it as a business standpoint, like viewing it as a business perspective. So I'm gaining a lot of knowledge and I'm investing all of my past to my future. That's something that that Jim Ron said, invest all of your past into your future. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to invest every day, lock it in. And I'm happy. I'm happy I'm able to do this. Um, tomorrow I have to wake up super early, but I'm happy. I'm happy I'm able to, to talk to you guys, um, talk to myself, give this insight on me as a person, be vulnerable. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically better. All right. See you later. See you. Peace. Wait. Uh...